Hey, what's up guys? We're playing Bravely Second again. We're here in Everlast Tower getting some items for Dia for the uh, one side quest. Um, let's I guess let's just take this party chat super super quickly and then we'll continue. We're basically done with we're done here, but the Grand Marshal Sword, it's just as father described it. Dia, is something wrong? No, it's just that this great task father gave me. It was too easy, right? Yeah, exactly. Somehow, I don't think just finding the sword is all I'm supposed to do. But is the Grand Marshal's sword powerful enough to cut down any foe, right? There's got to be more to it. I need mo someone to advise me, like Prime Minister Dominus, for example. Why him? Because he has the intelligence to dominate anyone in the arena of ruling a nation. I think you'd be better off talking to someone who has experience with a weapon as powerful as the sword. Someone with a powerful we not a weapon powerful enough to cut down the strongest of foes? Or, I don't know, maybe something more figurative. Someone with ambition and talent to overcome anything. Sounds like a real shot in the dark. A shot, of course. How about Sirius, the Sagittal leader? That's it, that's Peak Cannon. What could be more powerful than a weapon that can bust balls clear out of the sky? That makes sense. If we get a chance, I'll definitely talk to him. Alright, so we'll have to go talk to Sagittal also. So this is the Temple of Earth. I don't think we actually do anything in here. I don't think we actually do anything in here. I think we can kind of just go see the temple. Yeah, we can just kind of go see the crystal here. Cool. Crystal. Ooh, a blue chest. The Ripper. Um, that wouldn't be any better, right, than... Wide open? What is it? The heck did that do? Okay, let's go grab the ship, and I guess let's just go talk to Goodman real quick. Or, is that the Cave of Vestments? Let's go ahead and give it a quick save here. Save complete. Okay, let's go inside. Cave of Vestments. Okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. I'm glad I actually didn't have to go talk to a bunch of people, because that would have been real boring. Oh, let's also move my cursor here. Okay, let's keep moving here. Just gonna continue the way I usually do. There should be an item here. Yep, some more food items for the chef, which I haven't even touched yet. Just because, I don't know, I think. Yeah, it's the chef in the Campmancer class that I find extremely boring. Um, we could probably just do command set one. I don't think that'll cause me too much trouble. And I think Adia will be able to basically take care of him anyway. What's th oh okay so 60 through 64 so an it's an another higher level dungeon. You love to see it because most of the dungeons we've been through have been like level 50, and um yeah we're level like almost 90 so they've been a little bit like you know a little boring here. Ooh but I don't I don't want you to use his meteors. Why didn't Adia go first that time? That was weird. Usually Adia goes first because she's the fastest. Apparently this black cat has a weakness against whatever magic is imbued in Adia stuff. Okay. Okay, and that's the staircase down, right? Yeah, so let's go grab whatever is over here first. I guess it's going to be like a single chest, right? Yeah. And it is literally just the next potion, so nothing... Nothing absolutely wild, but cool. Fair enough. If I ever just like don't feel like going to the magic menu, I'll just I'll usually just pop open a X potion or two and call it a day. Yet apparently this cave has four floors, so we've got a little bit of walking to do. That's alright. I love myself some walking. As long as the Dia does these crazy fast attacks. I clicked accidentally to go to the next challenger. That's alright. This is just gonna use a little bit of his magic here. And hey, what's a little bit of XP, right? I guess I do want to grind later to 99, so this will just give me a tiny, tiny little boost, so maybe I'll have to spend a little less time then. A mushroom. Um, okay, let's go down this way first. Okay, so there is a staircase there. Earth Mallet. Okay, I'll just let Adia take care of these things. Oh, here comes another challenger. 
Okay, it's actually good that you did that one because he, he's able to clear them pretty easily there. Right, and there should be... Oh, there's two staircases. All right, well, real quick, let me just turn off the encounter right here. I want to go up over here. And I want to get that stuff before I play with these two. All of these chests must be gotten. I will not leave any unturned. And then I know... This is like kind of random, but for the post game, I know I've seen a bunch of the little pillars that like in the last game, I think was uh, dragons that we had to defeat. Okay, another item. But over here. Okay, nothing. Oh, there's a couple of splits here. Some more magic food stuff over here yeah i get the necessity to have a lot of these food stuff you know spread spread around the cave because you know in a in a real game if i was using this chef for the catmancer i wouldn't want to be buying these because it'd be super expensive so of course the game's like well we'll just give you a lot of them so that makes up for you know that class specific class being so expensive we'll just make it up to you by um giving a lot of them to you during the dungeon but the problem is that adds a lot of walking to the dungeon and if you're someone like me chat once Ooh. we made our way back i don't want to just party chat right in the middle here okay oh yeah that's literally i should have taken the stairway first it would have saved me a little bit of time from walking all the way around and it's for a bow that let's do this quick party chat marching plans hmm What's that, Magnolia? Something I picked up outside. I've been waiting for a chance to read it. Looks like a map. It's in pretty bad shape. This line here connects the Yuliana Woods and Anchheim. Then it cuts across the Sea of Corsairs towards the Eisen region. Here it turns north by Starkfort and goes all the way to Eternia. It all stops the X here in the southern region of Eternia. And look at all these scrawled notes. They're packed with info on the key points. Look, here's a detailed map of the part of the Internian Highlands. See? The line splits into three. One goes to the city of the Eternia, another goes to Central Command, and the third goes to Everlast Tower. There's a date, too. Year of the Orthodoxy, 2385. It was three years old then. The writing carved in the stone looks like it was done in my father's hand. These must be marching plans from all those years ago when the Templar launched his uprising. Look, here's what Brayev debated with Lester de Rosa and Sage Ilyana, and where we came to find the rainbow thread came here twice and the sage revealed us revealed us the secrets of our world just think of how many paths i've crossed here in this cave how many destinies have been decided yeah i guess fair enough let's go ahead and rest make sure we just got all i know we won't need it um we could we'll probably finish whatever boss this is in like two seconds but hey why not go in with full mp Father. It is said that the mystic thread used to weave the garb of the Vestals comes from this cave. But it is more than that to me. This is where your mother and I were once sheltered by the Sage of Yoyana. It is the place where we were blessed with a strong, beautiful daughter. And the place where I made my resolve to take back this nation and rule it by my own ideals. Even seeing the faces of the multitudes who had rallied to our cause, our hearts still wavered. Dare we pitch our outnumbered forces against a great religious order, with the power of the crystals at their command? Dare we did. We resolved to overthrow the orthodoxy, capture the earth crystal, and seize the throne. But how would we rule this new nation we would forge? How would we lead the world? <laughs> 